Greetings YouTube, my name is Sporkinator, welcome back to Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we grabbed the Master Sword and were sealed in the Temple of Time for seven years, now we are in the future. Although I said I would meet you at Kakariko Village and changed my mind at the last moment next episode, yeah. We're gonna actually see me exit the Temple of Time here now. What has happened seven years in the future? Oh, this looks bad. That mountain does not look good. So... My gosh, there's zombies everywhere! I wonder how Zelda's doing at Hyrule Castle. What?! No! Hyrule Castle is no more! It is now... Ganon's Castle. That's right. There's not really anything we can do here right now. Except for pick up one more gold scultula. Which, by the way, I cannot remember how many I have. 30! We have exactly 30. Okay. I feel like I should have more than that by now. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and pick up number 31 here. Oh, never mind. What am I doing? Holy crap. Never mind, guys. I don't have the item I need. I thought I did, but I, I don't. Anyway, they screwed up my item assignment and put stuff where I don't need it, and yeah. Notice that we cannot equip the Deku Sticks, the Slingshot, or the Boomerang. Or the Magic Beans. I wonder why that is. I guess we'll find out later. Maybe. Anyway, I'm sorry for wasting time. I did want to show you Ganon's castle, but I forgot the item that I would need to pick up that Skulltula. I don't have it yet. Durr. I forgot I just arrived in the future. It's been a few days since I recorded uh, the last episode, so I sometimes forget what I'm doing. But anyway, without further ado, let's get out of Hyrule Castle Town, or whatever. Formerly Hyrule Castle Town. Let's go, let's take a look in here. There's this guy. Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome, too. <laughs> Your name is Spork, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts, called Poes, are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields of the graveyard. They hate the world! Young man, if you catch a Poe, I'll pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> yeah, if you actually collect all ten big Poes out on Hyrule Field, you will get a fourth bottle. A fourth empty bottle. In my opinion, that's not worth it, so I'm gonna skip it. Well, welcome back to Hyrule Field. We're not going to Kakariko Village yet. I've decided first I would like to go back to Lon Lon Ranch and see what's going on with our horse. And what's his name? Can't remember his name. I'll call him Not Mario. Yeah, we're gonna go see if Not Mario is around. Yeah. Well, I think I need it to be daytime. Oh, yeah. Just give it a moment. Yep, daytime. What's in here? Well, the cuckoos are here, but not Mario is nowhere to be seen. Don't think there's anything else interesting in there. Oh, we should have gone here back when we were still a kid. We could have met not Luigi. But in any case, we will now meet not Luigi. And by the way, I'm just kidding, I do remember that guy's name. His name is Talon. And this guy's name is Ingo. But we're gonna call them not Mario, not Luigi, okay? Okay. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... 
Don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, I mean not Luigi, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Hold on, guys. Something weird is happening. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. Team Viewer was acting up and popping crap up on the screen while I'm trying to play this game. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a finer horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride on one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Very well. Do you want to hear how to ride? Nope, I'm gonna skip that. I know how to ride. Thank you so much. First thing to do, call Epona. That's right, using Epona's song that we learned earlier. Climb. Now to get our 10 rupees back. We can actually get 10 rupees back by jumping over the thing. Right smack dab in the middle. Well, we got five. But now we jump over the other one, and we will get five more. Oh yeah. And we are now done riding the horse for now. See, we actually need not Luigi to challenge us to a race, and he won't do it. We just talked to him, he says, When you want to dismount, stop and press A, and I'm gonna skip all of your text. Just kidding. Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. If you use the targeting, you can talk to me from horseback, which I'm doing right now. Are you ready to go home so soon? Yes, I am done. Now we talk to him again. And ride a horse again. And we get our 10 rupees back. Again. Having trouble playing a song here. There we go. I played a Pona song again. Come here, Pona. I love you. You love me. I love you. Yeah. We ride the horse. Yes, we do. Jump over. Oh, no, she didn't jump. What the heck? I didn't get rupees. Why didn't I get rupees? Whatever, I've still got 39 seconds. There we go. I probably should have collected more than 300 rupees before heading forward in time. Oh well. Got my rupees back, now I'm gonna talk to Ingo again. He should challenge me to a race and bet 50 rupees on it or something. Stop, just... Okay, yeah. You're getting a better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager, say 50 rupees. Let's do this. All right, horse race time. Uh-oh. Get out of my way, Luigi. I mean, not Luigi. Jump. Well, I've got this in the bag. All right. Good thing it's only one lap. I win! Give me my 50 rupees, not Luigi. Shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about this uh, humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can uh, keep uh, the horse. Well, folks. He's gonna try harder in this race, so we also have to try harder. Wish me luck. I usually get this on the first try, but, you know, recording and all might change. I don't know. Let's just try to keep up with him. Oh, I'm getting ahead of him. Ah, it's not that hard. Sweet. Yeah, I've got this. I've got this. Oh, crap, what happened? Why did I slow down? Oh my gosh, why? I don't know why it did that. Must be a control stick glitch or something. I'm gonna have to do it again. Do it all again. 
Well, I lost 50 rupees. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to do it again! It was going so well! I only lost because of a stupid controller mistake or something, because I, I had that, I had that. I don't know why it took 50 rupees from me. We were only racing for the horse that time, not 50 rupees. See, I have this. I don't know why he slowed down last time. I must have accidentally let go of the control stick. I don't know what I did. Oh, what a waste of time that was. Ah, oh, finally. What's up with that horse? Isn't that a Ipona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but no one paid attention to Ouija. But I bet on the race and lost. Shoot. <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Okay. I'm trapped here. Just kidding. We can either jump the gate where he is, or we can jump over here, which is much more epic. So we'll do that. Whee! Alright, now, let's head on over to Kakariko Village. On our horse! Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Death Mountain's that way. I could cut out the travel time, but I'm moving pretty fast on this horse. What do you think? Won't take us too long to get there, eh? Oh, an Epona refuses to go up ramps. <clears throat> I mean, climb stairs. So, we're gonna have to leave her here. Because she won't go up the thing. No matter what we do, she'll just stop there. So, yeah. If I could just get off, that would be great. I need to remember that I had to pause recording, so when I hit 15 minutes, the video will actually be 20 minutes long, as I'll actually have two clips to edit together this time. But anyway, let's talk to the locals. I think I used to see these guys in Hyrule Castle Town, didn't I? Yeah. Wah ha 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 ha. Look at this guy. Ever since he escaped from Hyrule Castle Town, he's become even more timid. Alright, let's talk to him. No, not pick up the bush. Talk to him. I tell you, I saw him. I saw the ghostly figure of Dompe the Gravekeeper sinking into his grave. It looked like he was holding some kind of treasure. Alright, maybe we should go to the graveyard. What do you guys think? Let's go. But in the meantime, let's talk to this woman again. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow cuckoo, especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Yes. You borrowed a pocket egg. Pocket cuckoo will hatch from it overnight. Be sure to give it back when you are done with it. Alright, now let's head to the graveyard. I need rupees. Really badly. So apparently Dompe is dead. Yeah. No more heart-pounding grave-digging tour, which we never actually did because it was mostly for a piece of heart. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we're inside the gravekeeper's hut. They don't actually let you come in here as a kid. The gravekeeper's diary is here. Do you want to read it? Yes. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will let you have my stretching, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you, Dampe. Okay. Well, so this is a puzzle that may take some figuring out, but we do see some grass here, and this is, in fact, Dompe's grave. So, let's enter. 
I think I have to go on the side here. There's some pots. 20 rupees. Not bad. And what are in the pots on this side? One rupee. You know, I think I will exit the grave and then re-enter to get 20 more rupees. Although it looks like I have to pull the stone back again for no reason. Two hundred ninety-four rupees. One more time. I'm sorry. I just... I really want my rupees back from that failed horse race that wasn't supposed to fail at all. I had it the first time. I swear I did. Anyway. Back into the grave we go. And then we're gonna talk to Dompe and he's gonna tell us what's going on. Alright, that's good. Now we have more rupees. Fourteen more rupees than I intended. It's just fine. Just fine. <laughs> young man, are you fast on your feet? I mean, I look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race, sonny. Follow me if you dare. Yep. Luckily, we don't have to worry about how fast we are. Too much. If you race him a second time and get to the finish in under a minute, he'll give you a piece of heart. But the first time you race him, no matter how fast you are, he'll just give you the thing you need. So, let's see what that thing is, shall we? Gotta watch out for the fire that he throws. Don't know why he does that. Maybe he's being mean, or if he's trying to leave a trail in case we get lost. I don't know. But I'm just gonna cut around here, and... If I get hit by fire, I'm gonna be really mad, because I hate getting hit by fire. It only loses, I don't know how much damage it does, but it's not an instant kill, so we don't have to worry about it too much. But still, it's freaking annoying. Oh yeah, I leave fire where I can't really see it. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock. Gotta get in there fast. All right. The time of this race was 1:05. <laughs> Young man, you are very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. Well, let's get the thing. I got a thing! I got the hook shot. Spring loaded chain, you can cast out the hook things. You can use it to drag distant items towards you. I think it's lying, I've never seen it do that. Or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. Yeah, that's what it does. While holding the button, you can aim with the thingy. Shoot it by releasing button. Well, folks. I thank you for watching. My name is Sporknator. Feel free to unsubscribe, dislike, and leave an angry comment. I will read it and laugh. Goodbye. See you next time.